Here is another tip from my arsenal of stair building experience. And of course, I have barely touched the surface with sharing my tips. I wanted to put a book together and I probably will end up putting one together eventually with all of my tips in them. But here is one that uh, you can use if you are trying to cut a stair stringer that needs to fit precisely in a certain location. So here we have a stringer and we want the bottom to line up here and the top to line up here. Now, instead of cutting, laying out the stringer and um, cutting the bottoms and the tops, what I would suggest would be to lay out the stringer and then um, just simply put a line where you think the bottom, where you want the bottom to be and a line at the top here and cut a stringer, but don't cut the notches out for the steps. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is if you make a mistake, then you can always cut these up for blocks or something like that. Um, but uh, you can just simply grab this board here where you think it's going to work. You've laid it out, put it in place, and if it does work and uh, you did all your math correct, you laid everything out right on the money, and everything's nice and square and plumb and level, then uh, you shouldn't have a problem. However, that's not usually how it works out. You usually cut your pattern and you set it up there to uh, check it out and you're going to chuck it. You know, you ah, crap, I can't use this. So the whole um, goal in making this video is to provide you with a method to cut a pattern that fits precisely exactly how you want it. You check it out without ruining a piece of lumber. So again, that's it. If you want to cut your pattern with your notches in it, set it in place, knock yourself out. But uh, this this idea here for those of you who, um, you know, I used to use this a lot. I used to um, do stairs where I had to have, um, someone would build a landing and then there'd be another landing. Um, I'm, I'm not talking about a concrete foundation, you know, something for a deck or something like you'd be looking at here, but uh, something you'll see here in a little bit where we have a platform that might be five foot off the ground and the other one's 10 foot off the ground. And I had to connect a couple of stairways to a variety of different things on an apartment uh, complex, let's say. And uh, the levels of the platforms were always the same height, but the locations were different. So I'd grab a pattern like this, carry it with me, and just simply make pencil marks on the pattern and then adjust it to the stringers before I would finish cutting them completely. So that's, that's where this idea came from. So if you have something like this where you're off a little bit, and in this case we're off about... Uh, three and a half inches um, off here. Now, if you want to, you can always add, you would divide into the um, treads here. And you could, uh, in this case, we had seven steps and uh, three and a half inches. We divide that into seven, we get a half inch. We could always add to the steps. So um, instead of uh, doing what I'm going to show you here, where I'm going to just simply add to the top of it, you could relay out a stair stringer and add a half inch to each step instead of making it 10 inches like we have here. You could make it 10 and a half inches um, to get the same thing. But here we're going to take, a, take and uh, make all of our modifications at the top of the stringer. We're just simply going to extend it and solve our problem. So again, you can add to the top, you can add to the bottom, you can add to the treads to make it a little longer um, if you need to. And in some cases, you're going to be spread out a little farther to where you're going to have to make the steps longer. And you're going to have to extend this a little farther, depending upon um, what type of situation you're in. Now, another thing, instead of cutting the top of the stringer like this, you could have it extend past. Um, same thing with the bottom. And the reason for that would be so that you could set something in place, set your pattern in place. 
and then right when you get it to where you want it you got everything nice and uh, level you could just simply make a mark here and then cut the pattern now if we reverse the situation and the landing and uh, the stairs needs to be a little closer to the platform then you can see here how this would simply work and uh, you would just cut the top a little shorter instead of a little longer and in this example we have modified the bottom we do not have our level cut here for the bottom of the stringer because we might need to notch it around the landing something like this of course and again it just this all depends on what you're doing if you're dealing with a finished product something that is going to be exposed painted or stained then uh, something like this is going to help you out a lot you're dealing with something that's going to be covered with drywall um, stucco um, you might not you might not need to get uh, this technical as uh, i'm providing you with uh, here and this is kind of more of the example of what i was dealing with as i suggested earlier i was dealing with a landing and a landing um, for some apartments i did where I probably put about uh, uh, 150 to 200 sets of stairs like this in and um, I had to get the bottom I had to notch it toward the bottom because the notch on the bottom of the stringer was actually going to help um, add additional support structural support to prevent the stairway from moving um, and then of course they didn't want the they didn't want to have a line across here some in some cases I was dealing with a situation where the I might have only had two inches of the front of the stairway sitting on top of the landing and then you could see how big the notch would have been they did, wouldn't have been happy if I would have drew that line straight across there so that was the situation where I used this um, particular um, pattern idea and uh, where it actually came from